Welcome back everyone, Joe and Mike, buildassetsonline.com. Today we're doing part two of our dropshipping ads for beginners. If you missed part one, be sure to check the link in the YouTube description or in your podcast feed. There'll also be a playlist in the YouTube description to watch all the videos in this series. We're learning about the best way to do ads for beginner dropshippers. And if you missed part one, I showed this little screenshot of one of our stores and yes, the number is pretty high, 6.7 million, but I'm not showing you that for the number specifically. I'm showing it to you for how the graph of the sales grows. It starts low and it slowly creeps up over time. So if that's the kind of results that you want and you don't want these, uh, these Facebook and social media type graphs where it goes up and then goes down to nothing and then you're stuck with your, uh, your, uh, your noodle in your hand, uh, then, <laughs> then watch this. So last time we talked noodle about- Noodle in your hand because you've ordered inventory of 10,000 pool noodles because you had a viral Facebook video, <laughs> but now they've stopped selling. That's right. Now it's winter and the pool noodle, no one wants a pool noodle in the winter. <laughs> All right. So uh, let, let's, let's talk. So when you make a new campaign in Google Shopping, this is the screen you're going to see. Last time we went to sales and we talked about uh, shopping or sorry, in Google ads, not Google shopping. We went to sales, we went to shopping in the last video. In this video, we're gonna to go to sales and search because we are going to do text ads. And of course, the goal of um, these text ads are going to be website visits. You know, you can do phone call ones. You, I mean, if you have a local business or an app thing, that you, an app, um, those are other options as well, but you know, that's kind of out of the scope of what we're doing. We're trying to get website visits and we're trying to make sales. So, um, Mike, let's look. Let's go to the next slide, and this is this is actually very interesting. So, what are text ads? Explain to the explain to the people what they are, how they work, etc. So, if you watched our first video, you would see how we talked about the top results with the pictures. Those are Google Shopping ads, and so below those, typically on majority of searches on Google, you have text ads, and you can see that because it says "ad" in the little corner there. And a text ad is essentially you're making up your own search result on Google and you're paying to be at the top. So essentially you search lawnmower. Now you have ads for people that are targeting the word lawnmower on text ads. And so with Google search ads, you have different match types. So we'll get into that later. Um, but essentially here, there's a bunch of directions we can go with this. But I want to make an obvious point. So this is the keyword lawnmower. The Google Shopping results indicate that someone, you know, they, Google Shopping thinks that someone wants a lawnmower that you mow your, your grass with. However, the text ad here is the all-new lawnmower 4.0 as seen on Shark Tank from Manscaped. So it is a men's uh, grooming product. And so what's happening here, so it's a very interesting uh, example, Joe, is that Manscaped is choosing to target the word lawnmower, even though it may not be extremely relevant because they have a product called the lawnmower. So these are the types of things that can happen with text ads is you have a product, but if someone searches for that product, then the results, you know, they may not necessarily be looking for it. And so you need to consider how powerful is this keyword for what I'm doing? And so if it was me, if I was selling regular lawnmowers, I would probably not make a text ad for lawnmower uh, to start out. Why? Because as you can see in the shopping results, there's so many different varieties of lawnmowers. There's the one that you sit on. There's the one that you, you know, put, there's different motor sizes. There's so many different options. So it's hard to determine how relevant you're going to be. But moving away from that, well, Mike, you I, 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 I want to stop you right there for a second. So, Mike, when I look at this text ad, I believe that this is most likely an error on Manscaped's part. I don't, I don't think that they're probably profitable from showing up for this ad. And I feel like this is a stupid keyword to bid on because if someone is typing in lawnmower and they're actually looking for the manscaped, they're pro and, and, it, and it doesn't come up, they're probably just going to go back into Google and type in like lawnmower manscaped to, to make their intent clearer. Um, well, well, 
What is an error, Joe? Well, I, I believe, and this is what I want you to talk about, is that there's obviously different types of match types um, when you're doing text ads. And so I believe that they have not refined their match types correctly to exclude showing up for this um, short tail, non-specific keyword. In my opinion, what this is, is money for Mr. Wonderful, you know, they got a million dollars, $5 million in their ads budget, and they're just saying, screw it. Our product is called the lawnmower. Someone searches anything that says lawnmower, or they could be, so I don't know if you have a slide here on match types. I don't think there is, but so briefly, match types means if you go into Google, Google search, you can tell Google, okay, I want to show up only when someone searches exactly lawnmower. Or you can say, I want to show up anytime someone searches a phrase that has the word lawnmower in it. So those are the two basic match types. One is exact match. One is a, a phrase match. And so, Joe, in my opinion, they're running an exact match for lawnmower. Why? Because, well, number one, so if someone searches lawnmower, maybe they are looking for the manscape. You don't know. Number two, even if they're not, they see this, they click it. Now they're going to be in the the retargeting pool of manscape. Again, it's not just someone in their basement trying to make money. It's uh, it's a startup with a bunch of funding. What do they care? They just want to keep driving revenue. Their business model is a bit different. So that would be my opinion on the situation. Because if someone's searching for lawnmower, they're probably a man, first of all. So they're probably even uh, within the demographic for this grooming product to right. begin with. And so we're getting a little bit advanced here. Um, but yeah, so just understand the different match types. Exact match, it would be exactly what you tell Google to show up for. Phrase match would be any phrase that has that term in it. So um, yeah, that that's that. And then if you want to, I'll, I'll let you get to your thing soon, Joe. If we look at the different, uh, if we look at the ad itself, you can see it's broken down into a few different components. So it has the link. So it's www.manscape.com. They're choosing for that to be the link. They could put in anything there. And then the title, which is all new lawnmower 4.0 as seen on Shark Tank. You have the description and then you have extensions, which says, which is the weed whacker and all new nose trimmer. So those are known as um, site link extensions. What were you going to say, John? No, no. So I was going to say that whatever Manscaped is doing, we obviously don't know. Um, you know, you, you, you could be very well right that they're just throwing money at this keyword. But I think it goes to – I actually particularly picked this one as an example because I thought it was a good example that text ads are only powerful as, – as powerful as the keywords themselves. Now, you've talked about you would never make a text ad for lawnmower because there's so many different types of lawnmowers. You have the push, the the whatever, electric, different types of motors, gas powered. Um, so it's very non-specific if you make a text ad for lawnmower, which is probably pretty expensive to bid on, and you're like shop all of our lawnmowers now. It probably yeah. would not be the most profitable ad, <gasps> and it's not something that you should do if you're a drop shipping beginner and say you're selling sofas. If someone types in sofas. There are so many materials, so many different colors, so many different sizes. You do a you do a text ad for shop all of our sofa collection. Uh, you know, you're gonna be sitting on the sofa alone. I don't. I, <laughs> I keep trying to come up yeah. with these things, but you get the idea. It's they're only text ads are only as powerful as the keyword intent, and that's what you need to understand. Uh, when you're doing any sort of search engine uh, marketing, whether it be paid, whether it be organic, the keyword intent is what you're going after. And I would also add, it's only as good as what your goal is. So if you have a lawnmower and it's you know $419 like this Honda here, probably maximum money you're going to make on this is say $150-$200 to be generous just as, as a high-end example. So that means you have about $200 margin to make that sale. So you have a $200 cost per conversion. That's your upper limit. So is bidding on the term lawnmower going to 
get you to that to that number? So the answer is is probably no. Whereas someone searching Honda, Red, Lawnmower, whatever the hell it is, that's going to have a higher likelihood of getting you to that maximum cost per conversion. Yes. Whereas yes. with Manscaped, maybe they don't care that it's going to take them, you know, five thousand dollars for this uh, this keyword. Every five thousand dollars that's spent on clicks for lawnmower, it winds up with one Manscaped customer because again, they're not focused on that necessarily, or you know, they're just running a different business plan. So, yeah. Whatever your goal is. Yeah, it is dependent on your goal, but assuming the goal for the demographic of this video is to be profitable as soon as possible and to actually make yep. money with their dropshipping store, you have to be careful and fully understand the intent of the keywords and understand um, the different match types and what you're going to show up for when you do those match types. And of course, um, you know, there's all sorts of documentation on there on, as to how to do the match types, uh, you know, basically dealing with the parentheses and brackets and plus signs, pretty, pretty simple. Um, you could just look it up literally as you're doing your text ads and uh, have it right yep. next to you. So uh, this next slide, uh, let's just go over it real quickly because we're running low on time. Um, so that the, the pros and cons of text ads, you can target exactly what you want and you can even target your own brand, which is, so now that we, a good example of this, now that we saw that Manscaped uh, was targeting lawnmower, you better believe that if someone types in Manscaped into Google, they're going to be bidding on their own brand. And why is that? Because I'm sure that they don't, if someone is typing in Manscaped, they want to be that prime real estate at the top of the search engine with all their extensions taking up um, a large portion of that page. And so this is, uh, you know, I, I, I understand, like, okay, so Mike, I just want to get your, your take on this real quick. Bidding on your own brand, like meaning your website name, is yeah. very common practice. Um, yeah. But I never fully understood why. Be I guess it's because you don't want your competitors uh, bidding on it. Rather, because you'll just you'll show up most likely the first result anyway. You would, but yes. So someone is someone has to be there. Someone has to be in that search result spot. And I mean, historically, those types of campaigns are extremely profitable. And I'd say even when you have a younger store or your store's name is kind of generic, like your store's name is Lawnmower for Sale, or some, you know, you get the idea. You may not be necessarily the first result so you better be doing store ads and bidding a lot so that if someone is possibly searching for your store that's like the highest intent possible you need to be that number one result gotcha gotcha um so the other thing about text ads which you cannot do with shopping ads is that you can entice people with good copy um you know things like fast shipping yada 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 um thing things like that can entice people to click the link which can obviously get more visitors to your store, but reduce the costs uh, because the better click-through rate you get, the better costs you're going to get in most instances. Is that correct, Mike? Yeah. So essentially, um, Google takes into account your your bids and what they call a quality score to determine how high you're going to show up for a particular keyword. So quality score is based off of uh, your expected click-through rate, your ad relevance, and your customer experience i think so yeah without getting too deep into that basically they're just taking into account do they believe people are going to click this do they believe people are going to bounce and do they believe that this ad is relevant for what people are searching so copy is is 100 the way that you optimize quality score outside of what's going on um on your landing page itself right and so the thing the other thing is that you can scale text ads a lot faster than you can scale shopping ads because if you do find that keyword, that high volume keyword, say it was uh, green 10, I don't know, like green riding lawnmower and you sell a green riding lawnmower and, and it converts for people that type in green riding lawnmower and that has a lot of search volume, uh, you can scale that a lot easier than you can scale shopping ads because again, you have much tighter control of what you're showing up for. So once you do find those winning keywords, you can, uh, you know, show up for them as much as you're as high as much as you want, basically. Yeah, and without getting too deep into this, 
So shopping ads is you're bidding on a particular product and each particular product has a pool of keywords it can show up for. And so a lot of people struggle with scaling shopping ads because say they get, they're getting sales, they're bidding a dollar on that product. Once they start bidding $2, not only are they going to show up for the keywords that they were getting sales for, they're going to show up now higher for a bunch of other keywords that may not necessarily be the best cost per conversion wise. So it may make you your profit worse at the end of the day if you don't know what you're doing but with text ads you just say hey i like where this this term is working just up the budget or you know up the bids whatever and it's a very uh direct conversion to getting more traffic perfect so hope you guys enjoyed that be sure to subscribe to this uh, subscribe to our youtube channel our podcast feed because part three is coming out in most likely another week So if you're interested in learning more about how to run ads for your dropshipping store and be profitable, um, you don't want to miss that. If the next video is already out, it'll be in the playlist in the description of the YouTube video. So be sure to check that out. Also, be sure to join our web class, buildassetsonline.com slash playbook, where you can learn a heck of a lot more about how we do dropshipping and how we build our online business portfolio because, uh, you know, I like one thing that I can say about us, Mike, is that we're uh, not to toot our own horn here, but we're really not one trick ponies. We do, (laughs) we, we have, we do the drop shipping stuff, the high ticket drop shipping stuff, but we also do tons of other business models, uh, which, and it's all linked together. So uh, people who work with us, they kind of get all the pieces to the puzzle and get to put them put them together in one place without the uh, the gimmicks and all the bad stuff, basically. Yeah. Well said, Joe. And also, guys, don't forget to take it easy.